one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this absolutely beautiful one owner 1991 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. And it's not the big Sedan DeVille, it's the bitty bitty baby DeVille. And this car is just clean as can be. 47,000 original miles. Um, I did an exterior video and I went around and showed you any tiny dings or any kind of little damages or things like that that might be wrong with it, which is not much to talk about at all. You can see that by clicking in the description below. Um, this is going to be the interior video, but I always go around and kind of give you a once around at nighttime to where you can see how it looks in this time of the night. Okay, so just a quick look. And other than that, we're going to get right to the inside. And at the end of this, I'll take you for a drive down the road. Look at the Continental package and the Vogue package. So pretty much I think everything you could get on one of these is on one of these. Um, let's get to the interior and I'll drive this thing back when I'm done. Just straight as can be. Okay, the door panels. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All the lights work. This light is out of it. And this one doesn't hang anymore. Um, we replaced a guide in the window to where that works. It had a little broken plastic piece. This is just a little stressed right there. Pedals, no wear whatsoever. Thing's got no miles on it. Just no miles. Shag carpet looks good. Seats are not all torn up or anything like that. There's hardly even wear. A little wear on a seat belt there. Probably got stuck. See right now. A little crack here maybe. Uh, clean, clean, clean. Headliner. Clean, clean, clean. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Back seat. Clean as can be. I mean, you just can't get a nicer car for the money. It's a nice little car. Wow. Gold coin, gold coin. No gold coin. Now, I didn't pop that, did I? I'm gonna go all the way around. I don't have to reach over. I didn't pop the hood either. Oh well. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. There'll be 60 to 120 pictures of this on my website. When it comes to a nice clean Cadillac, you're gonna be harder, hard pressed to find a nicer, cleaner one. Look at these wheels. Bless me. Well, that was smart. I pushed the button after I sneezed. But, I'm get the trunk popped. Show you the book and such. All the pretty pictures. And you got the gold kill. Gold kill. Gold key to build cassette tape that came with it. All of that's in there. See these marks? I'll show you something. Else. It's really little plastic things that people put over it. I left the key on. No biggie. Like this. And they have this stuff on the back. And when they get old, they break off. Like that. That's what that is. It's like triple mats, man. Just mats everywhere. There's that. Good. The spare is all in there. <laughs> it ain't never even been on the truck. There's side tread on the tire, or face tread on the tire. So, there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these floor mats with it. Even though all the lights worked up in there. The auto suck down, auto close works. Um, let's show under the hood. You know what, I'm glad I did that. At this time of day, I really am. And I just noticed, right here, I don't know if you can see it, 
Oop, I got hooked on the mirror. Ding, ding. Ever so small. Can't see him in the day. Just seen it right now. I'm gonna put this around my neck for a second. I love the chrome on the front of this grill and all. Yeah, buddy. Clean as can be. 47,100 miles. Quality battery. Nice car. I say clean as can be so many times it's pitiful. And it's because I mean it. I mean it. Oops. Sorry about that. This car is clean. A little tag on the valve cover still. Tags everywhere. Stickers everywhere. Stickers all in here. Yeehaw. Light comes on with the headlights. It's one of the dumbest things that they ever started doing, I think. Okay. I'm going to show you some interior options and such. Let's say forward. Backward. Down in the front. Or up in the front. Down in the front. Down in the back. Up in the back. Um, you know what? That's right. This power lock button don't work. And this power lock button don't work. Okay. Oh, there we go. That one does. But it won't go back up. So, I don't know. The lock buttons are a little old. Or maybe we didn't hook this one back up right. Because this used to work. Locks work fine, though. Okay. Backward. Down in the back. Up in the back. Up in the front. Down in the front. Recline works, it's on the side. Other than that, I see you showed you your books in there. Everything's clean. Okay, I'm gonna show you the mirrors. Out. Oh, we're going in. In goes a long ways because it wasn't adjusted for me or anybody else. Up, down, in, out works. In, we're out, in. I'm a little off on my ins and outs today. All that works. Okay, this AC is blowing cold as can be right now. Uh, it was not blowing so cold yesterday, although it blew cold when I bought it. So I don't know. There's a little switch, but I know that I just once it didn't blow cold, and now it is. And we're rolling it out. Ooh, sag. How they get it right there. Okay, let's see. This RF airbag. Wow, these things have hardly ever been down. Sometimes, see that? There they go. Just never used. Seriously, you gotta pull on them, man. Garage door opener fits there. Um, rear air and all that. Ice cold. Ice cold. Okay. Well, I think that's everything. Lights, cameras, action. Okay, I'm just going to give a quick test drive in this. It's sputter there, just a teeny bit. I really think this is a muffle of that exhaust issue. Runs good, drives good.
my battery overheated in my camera. So I had to turn it off, come over the bridge. It's okay. So we're gonna do it too. enough, the um, anti-lock brake went out, so there's no warning lights, and there was an anti-lock brake, and I think maybe I just drove it more, it had been sitting for quite a while, and then it was sitting at my place, in between, I'm thinking maybe gummy sensor or something, but brakes have always worked good, um, the light's a little dim because I don't have my twilight, so now there comes the anti-lock brake. Huh. Now why would it do that? Well, I know uh, I went to speak speak. Let's stay on that time. No biggie. I don't know if you heard a tiny sputter there. ship it cheaper than you can fly out and transport it back, to be honest. And I'd rather have this kind of thing fixed at home, rather than on the road. Warranty and such. But, the drive shifts nice, the whole deal. I don't know anything wrong with this car, except for it needs you driving it. One owner car guy, Com. Nathan, on that website there, you can get 60 to 120 pictures. And there it just did it to me. It just died on me. On that thing. I don't know why. Just did it. So, although, thank goodness, it's an easy, peasy, breezy little car to steer. And I guarantee you, I'll put the brake on, put the thing in park. Fire it right back up. Anti-lock brake light out. Not a question in my mind. Something simple. Now here's my problem and why I'm not fixing it differently. When I get out, hopefully you understand. I'm losing a couple of my storage lots for cars and stuff. So a lot of what I have here has to go. I, I am so gummed up with cars. It's pitiful. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Cheap. Get this one owner car for me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. And subscribe, like, comment.